everybody. My name is Ijoma Chimelo Obasi and for Five Sisters News. Today I am with Mr. Sari Ikubo. And sir, I want to ask you, how do you see the attack on Unam Carlos house and the denial by the army? How do you see it? I think that uh, this is uh, very unfortunate. I think that a professional army should not allow itself to be used in the way the army is being reduced now and is being used. Uh, naturally, the army ought not to be going around uh, knowing that in the Kano's house, whether they go there or they don't go there, whether they pass in the Kano street or not, people will interpret it differently. I think uh, an institution that, uh, like the army, need to be a little bit uh, uh, sensitive to the interpretation that will be given to the actions of the army. It's not like children, uh, when, when you have a quarrel with somebody, you want to pass by uh, the person and then you make a silly comment then you 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 try to sing a song or something to provoke the other person to a reply so that there will be a fight uh, it, uh, I think it's a precursor what is happening it's a precursor to a wider design a much much larger design that the government of the man I call Chief Everline Duare has put in place to commit pogrom against Biafra, against us. Enam de Kanu is not the only target. Yesterday, I, 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 I was not on the net for a very long time. I, I around 1 a.m. when I saw the incident, because all my phones were off because I was busy working somewhere. So in order not to be distracted, I put off all my phone. I put on my phone, I got it was just popping up. I, and I feel very sorry for the military people. That yes, sir, you one the, yes, one the job general. of the military is to keep peace. The job of the military is not to keep yeah, internal peace. peace. The job of the military is and to protect to them, is to like protect happened. is to protect the territorial integrity of the Nigerian state. It is the work of the police to keep internal peace, not the military. The military are not trained to deal with civilians. The military are trained to deal with their fellow military people. And there is no country except there is a serious threat to the territorial integrity of that country that military people are called out, that military people are called out to come out to defend the borders and frontiers of the country. Federal Medical Hospital Road, Umoya, is not a frontier. It's not a war front. A state of emergency had not been declared in Abia State, as it is in Boronu, it is in uh, Yobe, it is in uh, Adamawa State. So it is very wrong, it is very childish, it reduces the army to ridicule because it, it, it is turning uh, Biafra land into Palestine, where the brute force of a group of people and people welding stones. As far as I'm concerned, this is a precursor to commit pogrom. And I think they are going to fail this time around. This is on 1963. Well, the military is still denying it. The military can deny whatever they want to deny, but their supporters are on social media. The, 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 no, 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 no. The, we know people on the, we know people on the, we, we know people on the social media who are pro the e -raps. 
the corrupt Iraqs who are on social media, they've been writing, they've been praising the army, and the army will fail. This is what they did when he declared Operation Crocodile Smile. And when the army was going to the creeks, they were celebrating, hey, they are going to kill the job people. Oh, where are they? Let them come out. Oh, and, no, sir, that uh, no excuse me, there. excuse me. The government, everybody, we are in their both there. But when we use their face to rub the mud, scrape the mud very well, the crocodile started with me. And nothing happened. They started the unfortunate vice president, Ochibajo, was sent to come and placate the people so that Kuli uh, Kuli Kuli Temple will re 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 return. Okay, sir. The destruction of the country, what is your take? The Are destruction you of the country. Yes. As, as, far as, as far as I'm concerned, there is no country. There is no country to be restructured. But there is, they, there is no country is to Nigeria. be restructured. Nigeria is not a country. It, 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 no, listen to me. Countries grow from the people. Country emanates, originates from the people. Nigeria did not originate from me. So I don't think Nigeria country. originated from you. Nigeria was foisted on us okay. by one Lord Lugard. And the British people, the British government, colonialists that he represents. And Nigeria has always been ruled and maintained by force of harm. And that's not how nations so are built. So you don't think that the country is better off united? There's no country in the first place, so there's nothing to unite. There's no country in the first place. Because we have not agreed to be Nigerians. It is when we agree to be Nigerians... Then there should be a referendum. Okay. How yes, Britain, Brit Britain, Britain, in in the next uh, in the last three years did two two referendum. One is Scottish exit, yes. which failed, and then British exit from yes. the, the EU. So, if they are not afraid, if they think there's a country called Nigeria, let the UN come, the African Union come, maybe ECOWAS. As a box shocker, as a quasi, let them come and let them, let them hold a referendum and to see whether uh, people want to be Nigerians or they don't want to be. But for now, there is no country called Nigeria. What we have is, is a caricature of, of the country that is, exists. Okay, sir. So, so you think Nigeria is better off united? The Afrans, everybody goes on their own way. Is that how you see it? How do you see Nigeria in the next five years? Do you think there is still hope? For I us? don't. I don't pray that Nigeria should exist for the next six months. So I'm not. I cannot look at Nigeria as in the next five years. So that means if, you're a strong if, supporter of Inam De Kano. I am not a strong supporter of Inam De Kano. I am a Biafra. Inam De Kano is a Biafra. We have different platforms. Inam De Kano has done more than myself. In the fight for, in the struggle for the actualization of the independence of Biafra, that is the truth. Because Radio Biafra had done far more than any other platform had done. That is the truth. But I'm not a supporter of Enam De Kano because I started Biafra agitation long before Enam De Kano. But you know, there are different. First of all, they say charity begins at home. You have to first of all gather your people. My business was to gather my job people. And I did that. I, I, was a pres I was president of a joint youth council. And in the process, by the time we, 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 we graduated in trying to bring all Biafrans together, Inam Dikano has come up. And Inam Dikano has done. He has done. He has put Biafra on the front burner of international discourse. And I feel that with that, he has done more. But he's not the leader of Biafra. His, his platform, IPOB, has done its platform, Radio Biafra has done far more than any other. So, you believe that the Niger Delta they are all part of Biafra? I don't know what you call Niger Delta in the sense that it is called today. Niger Delta, in the sense that it is superior to Nigeria today, are all nine oil producing states. They say they are Niger Delta. But Biafra was the country that was declared in 1967 
30th of May 1967. And that country, which I belong to, includes uh, the vast majority of Ijo people. Some other Ijo people were in the Midwest, which was declared the Republic of Benin, and before uh, the, the, it was, it was short-lived. Uh, some others were in the Western region. What we have done, what I have done as an Ijo man, is to try to bring all Ijo people from the West, former Western region, from the former Midwestern region, to be together with their brothers, their kit and kin, in uh, Biafra, so that we can be together in Biafra. I cannot, uh, with all honesty, speak for other people. Uh, I cannot speak for the Robos, I cannot speak for the Chekris, I cannot speak for the Isokos, uh, because they, they, they have to make their choice. Yes. They have to want to be in Biafra or not. But in all honesty, I know the work I've done among the job people and among others. But among the job people, first and foremost, like I said, charity begins at home and I have to start with my people. Yeah, you know, people will believe, will think that because you have been to prison because of this agitation that by now you should have been calm, you are not supporting everybody, you just be on your own. Well, what drives you, sir? We just want to know, what drives you? Nigeria itself is a prison. Nigeria is a prison. Yes, Nigeria. And you are not afraid of going no, Nigeria is a prison. prison. Nigeria is a bigger prison. Yes, Nigeria is a bigger prison. I've been arrested seventy-four times. Wow. I've been arrested Wait, and detained. Yes, seventy-four times. Seventy-four times. Yes, wow, I've really been cool. detained. I've been in and out of detention. Not because I raped. Not because I embezzled. Not because I stole. Not because of uh, malfeasance of any kind. But I've been detained several times because I said I'm not a Nigerian. And this evil entity called Nigeria must be dismantled. That is why I've been in and out of court. I've been in and out of detention. I've been arrested. I've been handcuffed. I've been called names. So they, that is it. So uh, what is the fear? Whether I fear or I don't fear, I will die. I'm 53. My mother was not up to that before she died. She was not even up to 40. She was not even up to 35 before she died. So why should I be afraid? Yes, every woman being is susceptible to fear. Yes. And at times you will. But whether you are afraid or not does not change anything. Okay, away from the agitation, let's ask him, how do you relax, sir? What are your likes and your dislikes? Because everybody has been seeing the tough side of him. Let's just know the soft side of him. It will be good to know because everybody has this image of this hard man, tough. We want to know how you relax. I have never been an hard person. I, I, when I was in school, I, I never joined fraternities or call groups or anything. I've always been religious. I was president Baptist Student Fellowship. I was president Christian uh, uh, Student Christian Movement uh, SCM. I was president. I was a male Muslim Student Society River State Area Union. I was chairman Quranic Recitation Committee River State. I was a member of the uh, Preference Board. I read a lot. I play with my children. At the time, I was living with 218 children. Now I'm living with about 60 children. Uh, out of that 60 children, my children are about 10 out of the 60 children. Uh, 11 of my other children are somewhere else. I have 21 children. I have fostered children. People that uh, I fostered, apart from the 218 children, I fostered my first daughter. She's, uh, she's working. She's a, an ICT expert. Well. We have heard so much about your school. Can you just... Yes, my know? school was actually founded for those who followed me and died, their children. I wanted to give them a different type of education. And that type of education that is not obtainable. That is their own scholarship? Yes, their own oh. scholarship. Yes. So that is why I said at a time I was living with 218 children. And today, from all, from almost all over West Africa, today because of the hardship, the economic hardship, I have about 60, 60 something children. They've not all returned. They, you know, they, are, they just the school resumed today. So maybe tomorrow you go and see the school. The school resumed, resumed today. So about, I think, how many did they say that returned? 
30 something or so. So I'm a, last time I had about 70 something. Uh, people took their wire, they took their terminal exams and they left. Uh, so they left. So the ones that are remaining, okay? So that's all right. Thank you so much, sir. As you can see, he is not only an activist, he is also a humanitarian and he owns a very big school. Thank you so much. Sir. Yes, and I like beautiful women. Wow. <laughs> like you, like you.